I uh, check my content to see if it's good. I just watched the last video and I got to the freak point and I wanted to talk about legitimacy and I'm forced to talk about my daughter's mother because of a conversation I just had. Now my name change form says, are you a parent? It says, I am the father, check mark or not check mark. And then you give their name and their date of birth and their age, which is redundant. Why would you give them their date of birth and their age? But then what kind of parent am I? Am I her father? So I called her mom and I said, I want to know what Marianne's legal name is. And she said, why do you want to know that? And then I said, because I'm doing a change of address form. And she's like, you don't need it then. And then I'm like, well, now I'm curious. Would you tell me what it is? I should know her name. And she's like, no. And I didn't say, well, it was for a name change. Because I don't want to get into an argument over finding out what my daughter's legal last name is. And that's the father that I am. I am the father that her mother has allowed. I have been at the brink of that though. As far as the father that is allowed, you know, I've done everything for my daughter. I bought her books so I can talk with her over the internet. I, I gave her my everything, every penny I had. When, I, when we were all homeless and then we eventually got a place, but we didn't have much money, I did everything. I went and I begged and I stole and I bargained. I did everything for my baby because I'm not a bad father, but I'm not a father. Like, I, I don't know what to put on the name change application when I submit it. Is it flawed if I don't check the box father? If I do check the box father, do I write Mary, Mary Ann, and then put a blank because I don't know her last name? Is her last name Winner or Mwaka? Mwaka is her mother's last name. I don't care about dropping their docs. What, are you going to hurt them? Why would you do that? Dropping docs is such a dumb thing. It's, it's just like publicity. Anyway, if it's Winner, then what I did was I cuckolded an orphan. Because then her father, by name, is a man that's not in her life at all any longer. But there's a new guy with the same name as the guy that I cuckolded, and he's in her life. But I don't know him, and I'll never get to know him, because I can't even get my baby's mother to tell me what her legal last name is. Can you see my frustration there? I, I don't know if you can see it. Because it's so, I, I, it's angrifying. It is a, a deep frustration. Because that's the way she's been treating me for a long time. And I was one or, I was one, a single sperm. That's what I was. And everything else that I gave her was just dumped. She just, she, I need this for that egg. Now, do you have more money? Where's your money? I don't know if you have enough money and I want pets and I want, I don't, I don't, I'm not happy with this. And wh are you working? Where's your money coming from? Is it enough? I don't feel like it's enough. Now, screw you. How could you do this? You know, and then she would just abuse me. She would scream at me, man. She would lose her mind at me. And I'd be like, whoa chill out and and there was no chilling with her because her husband and this is what I deduce because I would chill and then I would play a computer game or something and just exist and I guess that's something her husband would do and it pissed her off well guess what Men are allowed to play games and just chill sometimes. We don't have to be your working robots. If there's enough money for us to get food, then spend time with us and see whether we are investing or not in our child. 
newsflash, we probably are. We probably are investing in our blood and child and flesh. But she couldn't figure it out. And look, I'm not this way with her. I'm not. I am obedient and, and humbled and completely respectful in every way. And this way is not that bad, by the way. It sounds like I'm lecturing you. It's not your fault. I'm trying to say a little bit, it's kind of her fault. But I don't want to go all in on that message. But man, you know, sometimes that message looks really appealing to me. And pre-med twos, it's all your effing fault. Doesn't take that into consideration at all. Can't be her fault. She's a woman. And, and what? Everything else about her has been destructive for me. Everything. She deleted my, I mean... It's just, it's not all my fault. It's multiple people's fault, including me. Can, can that be okay, pre-med too? Rich? But that's the other thing is that Love Helix will never let me drop his docs. If I said his name, he'd be out the window. And that's the window right there, in case you didn't know. Usually I would have art in the background, but I don't have any art on my wall. I have these two pieces of crap. Neither one of these is fun art to me. I'm just frustrated and alone and, and vlogged out. I'm vlogged out. I love to vlog, but it's, it's not enough. And I don't see, I can't get no satisfaction. I don't see where to turn next, except change the name, get the fursuit. I want to get a pro, uh, a programmer on another mission. And I also want to get a, a cameraman to just film me doing interviews. And I can pay him like 15 an hour for a certain number of hours, but I can't offer employment for in, you know what I mean? I'm stuck going only so far. I don't have enough money to make a business out of this or a non-profit even out of this. And I'm losing my worthless mind. I'm so frustrated. I haven't talked to my baby in days. And this conversation with her mother frustrates me so much because it's so cold not to tell me what her legal last name is. That's so dirty and beneath everything that I am. So tiny and awful and evil that is that it's nothing, nothing at all. And that's a nice thing that everything passes and everything evil and tiny disappears. And that's comforting. And it makes me happy. So I'm sharing happiness with you. Not, not a rant. Looks like a rant. It's not a rant. We're happy. We got through the, the rant. The rant is over. And I'm, and I'm sorry to do it to you. Wow, is it, an, I can't believe she wouldn't, I can't believe I don't know what her last name, it's Winner, she never changed her last name, that's the truth, she was off doing something to do with candles, or, or clairvoyant real housewives, she didn't change her name to Mwaka, she left it as Winner, like a lazy person. But I don't know. I might be wrong. Anyway, we're not happy at all. Like, I don't... And it's not your fault, and everything is in work. It's a work in progress. And I'm, I'm just stuck at each point with an anger that I cannot stop fueling when I think about my life. And that anger drives me forward. So let's see where I drive to. Thank you. Goodbye.